I have the apron done, now I go on to the next part of the operation. Yeah, I, you probably figured out that I was making something to make something, because that's my typical method. And this coat, you remember the coat with the pockets sewed on it? This is the coat that started the whole operation of thinking about how I can make the grinding operation a little less flammable. sparks hitting the apron will just bounce off. No worries. Now, the other thing I have to be careful of is that I don't have any gasoline. This gas can is sitting anywhere near where I'm grinding. So the gasoline can is safely out of the way. I can set up and get started. Since these are the main beams for the top rack, I wanted to leave as much of the square tube untouched as possible. But to make that happen, I have to grind off everything from the tube. It's not going to be used as part of the tube. There. Gloves, apron, Helmet, mask, hearing protection, I think I'm good. I think I'm going to want to move the camera. Okay, the job is visible to the camera. The camera is safe from the rain. Let's see how we do.
go. Have the mark on the tube. I think by the time I'm done, I'd be better off just cutting those end pieces off. Especially the, the big one like that, it's got the extra tube on it. I whittled the dickens out of that box beam. And to make it work, I'd have to weld it all back up again, and I think I'd be better off cutting in this box beam off about here, and just welding a piece on the end of it. I have short pieces, I can do that. So, the center pieces worked out okay. I was able to grind those off, get them knocked free, the little angle iron clips and the small pieces of tubing. And I can go over that with a sander. I'll put a sanding disc on and That'll do a much nicer job than going after it with a big 8-inch grinder. So, all in all, it's a success. So, I'm going to cut off the end section of both of these beams that has that box beam welded to it. Because there's just too much weld and it's the box beam is not thick enough to go monkeying around with it. If you miss just a little bit, you're nicking that box beam and the box beam really needs to have all the metal on it that it's got. So I'll just cut off the end of that and weld on a short piece of box beam to replace it. Be just fine. 
I really only need two long ones, one on the top on either side, and I have four long ones, so I'm more than enough. I'll have plenty for other projects. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, car went by. Another car went by. It's going to be rush hour here. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or the legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.